This is Chitragupta, the accountant of gods. Mythology says that he is the assistant of Yama, the Hindu god of death, and he keeps gods of the good and bad karma of all of us living on earth. And what exactly happens based on this record keeping, we humans are assigned our places in heaven or hell. Isn't that a fair, interesting concept, students? From the world of gods and goddesses, let's navigate to the world of humans. Hello and welcome to Notebook's video lesson on Introduction to Accounting. This is 4000 BC, that is 6000 years ago. And yes, we take a time machine for this journey. First, we land at Babylonia, the city of commerce, and we see payment of wages and expenses being made. And yes, they are using clay tablets to keep the records. Our next stop is at Egypt. And what do we see amidst the pyramids, the sphinxes, and the stretches of magnificent civilization? We see the royal accounting systems. The treasure keepers take a daily stock of treasures at day end and send a report to the prime ministers, the wazirs as they call. The third stop is at Greece. We see an impressive accounting system, maintenance of government financial transactions, apportionment of revenues received and managing the overall receipts and payments at a macro level. Now we take the time machine and go travel forward to 2000 BC. This is China and we see an extremely sophisticated form of government accounting. Finally, we are back to India, and this is 23 centuries back. Kautilya is a minister in Chandragupta's kingdom. This is the book written by him, Arthashastra, and this book is all about accounting record. Students, let's navigate back from the pages of history and take a deep breath to spell the word accounting. What is so fascinating about this word? Yes, it is indeed fascinating considering the fact how it has evolved over years. From the confinement of a financial record keeping, the term accounting has now progressed into a wider gamma where financial decision making can be aided. If we go by the definition of the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, accounting is the art of recording classifying and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions and events which are in a part at least of financial character and interpreting the results thereof. The overall textbook definition of accounting can be the process of identifying, measuring, recording and communicating the required information associated with the economic events of an organization to the interested users. Come now, let's break definition and dive deep. Events in a business environment which consists of transactions and are quantifiable in a monetary terms are economic events. Take the example of the sale of newspapers by the publication company. The sale of newspapers every day morning is a transaction and since it is an exchange of a price. It is definitely quantifiable in monetary terms. So this event is an economic event. To break down economic event, it can be either external, the ones with transactions between the organization and an outside party. Now, just give me a few more examples of economic events. Sale of books from a bookstore external economic event, bonus payment to an employee at the year end, internal economic event, 
payment of telephone bills, external economic event, identification. Not all transactions need to be recorded. Development of human capital through extensive training programs, formation of management policies, sanitization of office premises are all important events. But we do not need to record those. However, purchase, sale, payment of salary, utility bills are transactions involving monetary impact and hence shall be recorded. So step one is to identify the transaction. Then step two is to quantify or measure as something to be recorded needs to have a value. Step three is to execute that this records the transactions in the best possible way. Step four is the communication, that is, how the recorded transactions are made available to the end users. So once more, remember IMRC, identify, then measure, record it, to communicate it. Organizations, these are business enterprises. They can be of different types. Example, profit making and non-profit making or sole proprietary, partnership, cooperative, company, local authority, municipal corporation, or any other association of persons, interested users or end users of information. Users of financial statements can be of two types, internal users and external users. Internal users means users from within the same organization. For example, chief executive, financial officer, plant managers, store managers, and every other relevant person from within the organization. External users can be anyone beyond the organization. Tax authorities, registrar of companies, present and potential investors, are a few to name. So those were breaking and understanding the definition of accounting. For further on this introductory chapter, keep watching our next series of videos.